So now what we've seen here is um, a way to actually launch from the uh, learning management system into the uh, tool provider. So you're there in that tool. But the issue with, with that tool is that you don't really know uh, what's happening out there. Uh, it's really a black box. Uh, once you've launched, so your student is in this tool provider world, is doing things, but as a tool consumer, you don't know what's happening. You just know that you did launch. So um, LTI 1.1 came up with a uh, first answer to that because maybe the very first thing you would want to get out of that box is actually uh, some grades, some outcomes. So LTI 1.1 came up with basic outcome. So with basic outcome service, it's now possible for the um, tool provider to return a grade um, to the tool consumer. So does that work? First, the first thing you need to do actually is when you set up your link, you need to declare that your link is actually um, able to support a, a grade. And as we'll see, uh, that usually mean that suddenly your link is also going to have a representation into your tool consumer gradebook, in your course gradebook. So usually, so you have your gradebook, and suddenly then you have uh, you you're going to have a, a new column for your link. So now, when you launch, there are two uh, new parameters that are added to the launch. So those parameters are uh, result, sourced ID, and outcome service URL. So what are those? So the result source ID is identifying uh, a recipient created as a tool consumer to receive the result of this interaction from this user with this link. Usually you could represent that as uh, a this cell in the gradebook, for example, which, uh, which is a relationship between a link and a user, but it doesn't really have to be a cell in the gradebook. It's really capturing the interaction of that user with this link. So you're going to pass an identifier for this relationship, but then now as a tool provider, you need a way to post back the value. And this is where on every lunch, we're passing the URL. So you see it's important here that the tool provider doesn't need to have a prior knowledge of the outcome service URL. This outcome service URL is passed on every single lunch. And that's a pattern that we're gonna find uh, as you move forward in on other LTI services, is that we tend to avoid prior knowledge of um, service URLs, so service URLs are passed on lunch. So now, as to provider, I have a location to identify an, an outcome container in the tool consumer side, and I have a URL to post it back. So the only thing I need to know is that what exactly is the format I need to put, um, I need to send on this URL. And, it, and this basic outcome service uh, was done some time ago, and it's uh, still using an, an XML construct and actually it's using commands in XML and you have three kinds of commands you can do so those commands are uh, you can replace a result you can delete a result and you can also uh, read a result so replace a result is the most important um, command here because that's the command you're going to use to post a grade from the tool provider to the tool consumer and um, delete result is uh, where you want to, to remove a, a prior result and usually for example a submission is reset or for some reason the user has to, to start again so basically you're going to notify the tool consumers and the result has to be cleared and clear doesn't mean that it's actually physically deleted on the tool consumer side, maybe stay in the history or something, but at least as a tool provider, it's a way to communicate uh, a reset um, of a grade. And then read result is a bit of an odd one. And um, so I'll put it, uh, I would put it a bit in a maybe sh more in a shaded, uh, not that it's less supported, but um, it has it's it has a bit of an odd value because as a tool provider you're there to return a grade you're not there to consume grades in the tool consumer side so really what's expected is that with read results is that you would read what you've what you've replaced uh, in some tool consumer sites that might give you some insight to a grade book cell 
but some of our gradebooks are actually going to make sure that any changes made by the instructor inside the gradebook are not visible to the tool provider. So uh, really, in that case, what you would see anyway is what you posted. So really, the key use case here is replace results and delete results. So uh, now we're going to just go be looking at the document, at the actual example in the specification. But um, one last thing is that the grades that are being exchanged are normalized. And so what does it mean by normalized? That means the values are between 0 and 1. So it's a bit like a percentage value. There are never actual points being exchanged. So here, for example, I can sign the 0 0.8, post to 0 0.8, or an 80%, basically. And now, if, this, if my gradebook is point-based, and the scaling would have to be done on the gradebook side. So for example, it's out of 10. If in my gradebook I set this link out of 10 points, then um, this would actually be in, in here. Actually, I would put um, in here. There would be an eight, basically. So let's have a look at the actual specification. So basic outcome service was defined with one one, and actually one one is really one o plus basic outcome mostly. And so we see it here in the basic outcome uh, section. Uh, we have the three commands we talked about: replace, read, and delete. And let's have a look. So you see here so you have the format for the XML, um, but really uh, in the XML you're gonna find the command. So here it's for example the replace result. You're gonna find the source ID, which is really the I identifier of the result container on the two consumer sites. Uh, the ID to receive the grade and the value again a normalized value. So let's see how we actually use it by actually modifying the previous link we've created to accept grades. So it's uh, usually very easy. You have a setting somewhere uh, into that let's say that you can want to capture grades and in that case here it's found here accept grades from the tool. And so when this is done, uh, when you check it in, if you go to the uh, grades uh, or in your grade book, uh, then you're gonna find columns created for those uh, um, resource links. And now if I go as a student um, here for example, and let's go back here clear that and I'm gonna do the lunch here as a student and let's see let's locate the actual LTI lunch which is I think right here and let's see the parameters that's been passed on lunch and now so this is a typical uh, LTI parameters but what you find are the two new ones we discussed before is the uh, actual URL for which you, where you're going to post grades back and the ID uh, that I identifies this interaction, that means this um, activity and user, use this user interacting with this activity. And it's an opaque identifier. Here Moodle choose to use some kind of JSON representation, but really it can just be just a number or something. It's totally opaque and it's just communicated back uh, to, the to the basic outcome service to, 